video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey, hey, Star Wars fans. Welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. We've got the Death Watch Mandalorian. This is VC219. And what an awesome looking figure it is. I'm loving this. Loving this card back. It looks so good. It's a really nice looking image. Can't really work out why it looks like he's missing an arm. <laughs> it just... I don't know, for some reason it looks like that arm is missing just because there is the sort of blue so close there. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure. That's just the way my brain has interpreted this image, just seeing it in person now as well. Um, so, yeah, I just that's just what I'm seeing. But it looks nice either way. It's like a great figure. Plenty of Mandalorians coming. Got another airborne death watch mandalorian we've got mandalorian loyalists we've got moldalorians more mandalorians that we can possibly poke a stick at and i'm not complaining at all i just did the uh the six inch version of this just a couple of weeks ago and that was a fantastic figure so if you didn't check out that review please go back and have a look and uh yeah sound in the comments below let me you know what you think of this one and uh let's open the figure and have a look all right, here's the figure out of the packaging. We'll quickly go through his accessories, or her accessories. No, it's a him, because of the different helmet. But it does come with this small little uh, Mandalorian blaster pistol, which we've seen before. It does come with the, uh, this gun. <laughs> I, I can't remember what it's called. I don't actually think I knew. And removable jet back, which pegs nicely into the back there. So that's, that's nice. Now the figure itself is, you know, damn nice. It's a, love the blues, love all of that. Borrowing some elements from the Mandalorian figure, the Mandalorian, Din Djarin. Um, Boba Fett's helmet, obviously. Um, sort of forearms, hands, legs. Um, maybe the boots are different. Not sure. Obviously, the uh, shoulder pauldrons slightly different. The jetpack's slightly different, I think. Again, don't have one on my hand at the moment to to look, but that's okay. We're just going to take the figure for what it is. But it's yeah, really nice. Love all the Death Watch markings, the shoulder, the white stripes there. There's something interesting with mine is the sculpt in the knee there. Let's just zoom up on that a little bit. You can really see that. So that joint has come up quite a lot at the front there. So I'm not sure what's going on there. It's not, not an error or anything. It's just, um, you know, they've sculpted the pants sort of all the way down on this leg, but not on this leg, so. It just looks a little little jarring. But again, not a big deal at all. A little bit of blue paint has bled onto the pants there, but again, not a problem. Working holster here for the pistol. That looks nice. And we'll uh, arm this guy up with this one. I really do like this. Blaster rifle, I think it looks awesome. Just leave it like that for the moment. Use rangefinder up. Take the jetpack. A couple of holes there for, I don't know, and maybe a future deluxe release with some flame effects. I don't know. We'll see what goes on there. But I uh, don't recall any other jetpacks having that recently. I'm probably going to end up gluing that in. It's a, it feels a little bit loose. Um, I mean, it slots in nicely. It's not going to fall out or anything. But uh, yeah, it just feels a little bit loose. But uh, yeah, overall, really nice figure. I'm digging this one a lot. Just love that classic sort of helmet shape. Yeah, definitely be 
scouting a second one. Just, you gotta have a couple. You gotta have a couple. A really nice looking figure. This one's just started hitting Zing Pop Culture stores down here in Australia. I've seen a lot of people getting hold of them. But yeah, love to know what you think. Please send it in the comments below, like I said earlier. Love to hear your thoughts. Thoughts, feedback, comments, anything like that, please send out down below. That would be awesome. Big shout out to my members. You guys rock. You guys helped pay for this one this month. So yeah, this one goes out to you guys. Big love. Much appreciated. And uh, yeah, the countdown to Kenobi begins. Have a great week, everyone. And may the force be with you, always.